Hold on tight because we're about to dive into a disturbing revelation. There are folks who feast on the distress of others, not because they're characters from a horror movie, but because they're under the spell of the sadistic glee effect. This bizarre phenomenon transforms pain and suffering into a perverse form of entertainment. Imagine someone watching a burning building with a gleeful smile, or a boss who revels in the stress of his employees as if it's his favorite sitcom. Sounds like a scene from a twisted fantasy novel, doesn't it? But this is precisely what the sadistic glee effect looks like. Picture a teacher who enjoys watching students squirm during a surprise test, the panic and anxiety acting as her morning coffee. Or consider online trolls who revel in the distress their nasty comments cause, savoring it like a delicious meal. It's like they've tuned into a sadistic radio station, where others' distress is their favorite song. Here's the jaw-dropping secret takeaway. The power to mute this sadistic glee lies in our response. These individuals feed on our reactions, our pain, and our distress. Deny them the satisfaction, and they lose their source of pleasure. Next time you encounter someone taking pleasure in your discomfort, remember, you can turn off their radio. Stay calm, maintain your dignity, and deny them the reaction they crave. So, share this crucial secret with your friends. It's time we pulled the plug on the sadistic glee effect. In a world where empathy and kindness should be the norm, let's ensure no one's pain becomes someone else's twisted entertainment. Tune into compassion, folks, and let's change the frequency for good.